mesdames et messieurs, welcome in this Trick Track TV. It's a very special Trick Track TV because it's in English. It is indeed. And uh, I uh, learn English on watching uh, TV mm. and, uh, and uh, movies. And I like, uh, I talk like uh, Robert De Niro with an, an extra good English. And Something like that. Yeah, oh, you are English. Yeah, I see. So oh, this yeah. is going to be Conan, but it's kind of like learning English with Conan. So yes, learning English like with Conan. It's like a special version edition we're going to play today, so this should so be fun. This guy with the excellent English is Jamie. Indeed. How do you do, Jamie? I'm very well, thank yeah. you. I am very well. You are thank very you. well. The guy is very well too. This is Fred Henry. <laughs> Hello, Fred Henry. You, Hi. Your English is like my English. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> you are the author of this game. The author, yeah. Yes, this is Conan. Yeah. And we have another guy who makes sports like Conan with a huge muscle. Mm. Muscle? Muscles. 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 It's uh, Adnan. Hi. Welcome, Anna. You talk very well English, not uh, like me and Fred. Uh, not too bad, but... Uh, not too bad. So... I'm working on it. You're working on it, right? <laughs> so... You understand what you say? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, we are here to, to try uh, Conan, um, Kickstarter project. Indeed. Yes. The author is Frédéric Roy. Indeed. Yes. Yes, you don't speak English, I don't speak English, but you speak English. So we'll, you are we'll somehow we will make yeah. it through the next hour. I don't you, know how, but we will. You explain the rules in English mm -hmm. for the, the English and American audience. That's the one. We're listening, but we know the, the game. Yes. We, 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 we played we it play. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> a little bit. And so, you explain the rules, and after we play. So, go. That was rather abrupt. <laughs> well done, though. Very good. Thank you. Thank Excellent. you. Excellent. Okay. So, uh, you precise, this is a prototype. This it is, is indeed a prototype. Games. This yeah. is a. This is a. Yes, you won't get hand beveled wooden dice in mm. the box, and all this artwork and such is probably going to be changed as well. This is a very rough prototype of the Overlord's board, which we'll explain later. Um, one thing you might have to be very careful with, with the prototypes when you're sliding the tiles down. If they jam, it's just because it's been glued in three parts, but it won't do that in the... In the <laughs> Maybe too fast for him, but we'll... Don't talk right. to me like this. I do what I want. Fair <laughs> enough. I will slide them down. Yeah. <laughs> Go on. Um, okay. So, as... Uh, as we've already said, this is Conan. Um, it's the first of its kind as far as the game goes, because in this board game you actually get to play as Conan and his friends, whereas in a lot of other games it was always you played in his world and sometimes he would wander along and kill some stuff for you and then you'd give him some gold and then he'd go off again. Uh, but this time you're actually going to play as Conan, all of his chums, and play through many stories that we've turned into scenarios, um, from rescuing princesses to raiding castles to escaping from prisons, loads of stuff. So what we have here is a scenario that many of you will be familiar with if you've already seen the game. This is the infamous Picked Village. So in this one, Conan and his friends have been hired by a local lord to save his daughter, who was kidnapped when a trading caravan she was with was attacked. Yeah. yeah. Uh, now, there's a story behind why he's doing this, and we'll get to that in a minute. Now, um, the heroes have rocked up to the village just before dawn, when all the hunters are out, doing what hunters do, hunting. And they have a very short amount of time, eight turns, and trust me, that goes a lot faster than it sounds like in this game. Turn counter, thank you, lovely assistant. I understand this. Uh -huh. And they have to get in, find the princess, which are my lovely assistant here, is going to hide in one of these huts, and kill the, ch the picked chieftain, sorry, so this sort of thing doesn't happen again, and get out. Very important as well. So how are they going to do this? The main mechanic of this game is what's known as stamina gems. Now, each hero... Slowly. Up. Up. I suppose we've got yeah, to yeah. get that under the camera like somehow. Like this. Ah, like My this. English is bad, but I know which uh, camera <laughs> works. There we go, that's true. <laughs> More experienced than I have. So, stamina gems. Each character has a reserve of them. On average, 10. The Overlord Lord has 11. Um, and to, um, to perform different actions, you're going to spend these different gems. Different gems, sorry. These gems. Uh, these actions are moving, close combat, defending, range combat, opening chests. Everything revolves around these gems. Uh, to give you an idea, most heroes have an average of 10. Conan's slightly stronger, so he has 11. Um, so what we're going to do is to give you a quick idea of the scenario. I'm going to run you through a quick demo turn. So I'm going to take Shivatis. In fact, here we go. So Shivatis is the rogue in this scenario. Um, when you start your turn, all the heroes have to decide whether they're going to be active or inactive. So if we can zoom in on the plateau uh, very quickly, um, you'll notice that I have gems in two different piles. This is my available pile. This is my fatigue pile, and this is my wound pile. So when I perform an action, I'm going to move gems into these different boxes to indicate which actions I'm going to perform. And then afterwards, at the end of my turn, I'm going to move them all into the fatigue pile. 
At the beginning of your turn, when you declare whether you're active or inactive, you recuperate a certain amount of these gems. If you're active, it means you can do whatever you want, but you only recuperate two. You can go inactive, which means you're having a breather, a quick rest. However, you get five back. You can also get more if other members of your party die, but hopefully we won't get to that. We shall see how good he is. So, in this scenario, the heroes get to pick where they want to come in. There's three main points of ingress, but you can also climb certain walls. Um, so, I'm, for example, I'm going to start with Shavatas here. Now, the first thing we want to do is we want to move into the village. So, we'll start with movement. On the plateau, each character has a movement box. And in the bottom right-hand corner, there's a large number. In the case of Shavatas, it's three. These are his free movement per turn. So Shavatas can move three zones per turn without having to spend any additional uh, stamina. The, the, let, sorry, the number in the bottom left-hand corner is the extra stamina, the maximum sorry, extra stamina that he can spend on that action. So he has four. He could potentially move another four zones. So I'm going to move into the village and say I want to kill these two guys here. What? Sorry? What? You want what? to kill my, my man? I do, I do. But it's only for fake. Don't worry, we'll get oh. to the real killing afterwards. This is fake <laughs> killing. So I'm going to move one to here. Now to enter a building, you have to spend one additional movement point. So I spent one to go there. So it's another two, three to go into the building. Now I'm in here. I can sign with two picks, which hopefully will die very shortly, and a chest, which hopefully I'll open very shortly. So we'll get to the killing first. How do you attack an enemy? Very simply, you take one of your stamina gems and you put it into the combat box. Now, this initiates an attack and it gives you an automatic, well, sorry, it gives you a dice of the color that's indicated in the box. In the case of Shravatis, it's orange. So I could have one orange dice, please. Is it orange? That's the one. I know the color in English. Orange. Red. This is red. Red. Yes. That is red. And, and the other is one is? Yellow. Excellent. Yeah. Well done. We're learning. <laughs> B plus. Um, now, I can also add additional gems into that box, which will give me more dice. So say, for example, I'm going to spend two on this attack. So I could have another orange dice. So that would mean I'd be attacking with two orange dice. However, I also have a weapon. You have to have a weapon to attack. Um, you can attack an arm, but it's a lot less powerful. Um, Shavata's dagger gives him an additional yellow dice. So could I please have a yellow dice? A yellow dice. A this yellow is dice. A yellow dice. That's the one. This is a yellow dice. That is indeed the yellow You're dice. On <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> He's learning. He's having a lot of fun, trust me. Yes, but when you put the oh. in my face, I'm not happy. No, if I stab you in the face, no, <laughs> you're not going to be happy dice. for me. Um, so, um, on the card we can see it gives him this additional yellow dice. He could also throw the dagger if he wants to as a ranged action, but he'd have to go get it afterwards. Um, the small arrow on the dice, however... Yeah. I go to the camera... Uh, that's true, yes. You can zoom in on the quick camera better, here. And I, probably be a I bit do better. This. And there we are. So, yeah. uh, we'll go back to the start. So, this is the Chris. This is Shabbat's weapon. You can see the axe. That's the attack symbol. That yellow dice means that he gets an additional yellow dice as soon as he starts a combat action. And the arrow means that he gets to re-roll a yellow dice. Below it, we can see the ranged icon. That means he can throw it. That's the hand with the little arrow going out, which means if he uses it, he then has to go and get it in the box he threw it in. The symbol on the right, bottom right, is the weight. Heroes can carry a certain amount of weight before they start to lose different abilities. We'll get to that as well. So, I have three dice in investing two stamina gems in attack. So two, because I get orange dice whenever I use stamina gems, and one yellow from the weapon. I roll a dice, oh, roll the dice, and I get three hits, perfect. So, um, the picks here, they have, if I'm not mistaken, he, pick center? That's no, the one, yeah. This, this one, pick center, red, red. red. That's it, two armor and one hit, one hit I, point. I, I, oh. I put on the oh, there camera we go. Yeah, on, that. the, oh, good idea. on the bottom, on the side of the machin chose. The you machin know, chose. In French, the, the, the zoom machin. camera. Call yeah. it like that. <laughs> so, <clears throat> as we can see the picked hunter, um, the first symbol, and we will get to how the overlord activates afterwards, the first symbol is his free movement, so he can move two movement zones. The shield is his armor, so he absorbs two damage points. And the third symbol is the attack, so he gets two yellow dice, which he can re-roll whenever he attacks. Unless it's indicated, all enemies have one hit point. So, I have scored three hits on him. We will take off two for the armor and one for his hit points. So technically, he's dead. However, the overlord can roll dice to defend, but he won't this time. We'll get to that afterwards. Okay, okay. <laughs> so that would technically kill a pit. Yeah. I could then do the same thing again. Kill off the other picks. Oh, it's easy for you. It is very easy for me. And then, once there's no more picks in the room, I can open the chest. So, how do you open chest? Exactly the same way you fight. You put a stamina gem, or multiple stamina gems even, into the manipulation square. 
Did I move that too much? Okay. There we go. Um, and that would give me two dice of the colour. Now, seeing as Shabbatis is a rogue, he has very good skills, so he gets red dice. So I'll take two red dice, please. You're welcome. Kappa. Thank you very much. And his special ability, lockpicking, allows him to score one automatic success as soon as he starts to open a chest. So you need two successes to open a normal chest. So technically, I've already done half. Two red dice is overkill. For a quick recap, yellow are the weakest dice, orange are medium dice, and red are strong. So I should have no problem passing this. So I get five successes, plus one, I get six to open two. Easy. So I open the chest, and I get hup, an equipment card. Magical urn, in this case. Sort of like a magical grenade, to put it shortly. Um, now, I've then spent all of my stamina gems. Uh, in between this, the other heroes can go. There's no turn. Not like my turn, your turn, your turn. All the heroes can interact as much as they want. They can swap out their actions. Uh, Conan can burst through a wall, kill some enemies. Sh Shavatas can run in, kill another one, open the chest, then move out again. Then another hero can go. You, you plan it around your strategy, how you want to play the game. And you talk... Uh Together. Yes, together. you all talk together. together. This is yeah. the world when I, I said, ah, there we go. You, you talk together when you want. Uh, mm. That's it, yep. You, you can say joke, uh, mm. etc. Et that's the one. Yep. Me. It's, all, it's all about, well, I suppose kind of socializing and, yeah, and planning out your strategy. <laughs> yeah. But you, there's no my turn, your turn. We all play together. We all play how we want, when we want. And the only limit of what we can actually do is the stamina gems. Yeah. Yeah. You kill my pig, it's very social. Exactly. Very, very, very social. social. That's, that's how social works <laughs> in the Hyborian age, I think, but I'm not sure. Um, and there you go. Now, if, for example, his picks were going to attack me, so two yellow dice, which can be re-rolled. So he'd get, he'd get one hit on me, he can re-roll it, he gets two hits on me. Now, one of my other boxes is a defense box. So I can spend stamina in this one to roll, in Shirata's case, oh, no, that's going too far, orange dice in defense. If I could roll one, I stop one hit, I would take, therefore, one wound which means that one of my dice primarily from my fatigue pile would move into my wound pile. Once I have no more gems outside of my wound pile, you're dead. You're dead, yeah! Simple enough, it, it's not that difficult to understand. This is my <laughs> job, kill you and your, and your friends, especially Conan. Yeah. <laughs> because when, when Conan dies, if I... <laughs> Something like this. Actually lets out that small <laughs> noise. Exactly like, this. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah. some sort of deflated <laughs> balloon. This is just a scratch. <laughs> um, right, so uh, the next box is ranged attacks. Now, Shavatas has some throwing daggers. He has six, in fact. Um, they work in the same respect as a weapon. You've put energy into the box. You get a certain amount of colored dice. For Shavatis, it's orange. Uh, for Valeria, I think she has yellow, and Conan has orange as well. That's right. You roll a certain amount of dice, plus the bonus that your weapons give you. So the throwing daggers give you yellow dice. So you'd roll. You do exactly the same system of hits. Take off the armor, do the wounds, etc. Simple as. Manipulation we've gone over. And the last box with the cube in it, now these are re-rolls. Now, re-rolls, you can spend stamina, as many stamina points in as you want per turn, and they allow you to re-roll a dice that you have already rolled. And you can re-roll and re-roll and re-roll as much as you want. There's no limit. No limit. The game during uh, months and months and well, years and uh, years. You'd have to run out of stamina gems. Oh, okay, okay. Unless you're rolling a dice oh. a month, you'd have to stop eventually. So. You'd lose a lot of friends. Um, <laughs> so there we go. Uh, that is the basis of the character's... Right actions. It's really that simple. Uh, the only thing we really have to cover is the special ability. So Shavatus, he has a lot of, uh, he has an easy time opening chests, being a thief. Um, he also ignores enemies for movement penalties, which we'll come to in a minute. Conan, uh, when he attacks, if he kills an enemy, any remaining hits carry over to other enemies. So he can cleave through a whole oh, group yeah. of enemies if he rolls enough dice, uh, which is good because his weapon is very powerful, but only allows you one attack per turn because it's a big, big, big weapon. Yes. Um, Valeria, uh, her special ability is that she can use two weapons at once, so she can get the bonus dice from all of the weapons, yeah. uh, and she has a lot of re-rolls on her dice, so she's very uh, stamina efficient, mm. how to put it. Um, and that's, that's as simple as it gets for the heroes. In, in the game, there are only three characters? Or in there this more? scenario, in this uh, scenario. there are scenarios with four heroes, there's scenarios with two heroes, there's... Uh, there's 12 different scenarios in the box with different amounts of players. I mean, here we've got Conan, Shavatis, and Valeria, but you can play whichever characters you want. You could even mm. play without Conan if you want to, but it'd be defeating the point. But you can, nothing stops you. Um, it's just been balanced, I suppose, for these characters, but each character has its own strengths and weaknesses, so yeah. Okay, no so, issues. and now <coughs> I would like to do <laughs> something interesting. When you like to do a um, bad thing like me, what does it work? 
Ah, now. I want to kill Conan and his uh, girlfriend and his uh, pet. <laughs> ah, and his pet. Girlfriend, pet. <laughs> I should say that as an offence. <laughs> right. So, uh, what you've got to understand is that the overlord in this game isn't just, uh, how can I put it, it's not like a, a games master or in, in a role-playing game. Yeah. He's an active part of the scenario. He has his own objectives. The gameplay has been made so it's interesting for him and he's not just some sort of add-on mechanic for the models yeah. and the enemies and the board. So you, you won the game or I won the game? Exactly, yes. Mm. Uh, there are certain missions where I suppose you can get egality, you know, so you can get a, 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 a draw, there we go. But uh, those are very rare and we try to avoid uh, yeah. So in, uh, in, in reality, I won the game or I won the game? Yeah, there is, there is one thing that should be mentioned. This is the third time he's played Overlord and he's never lost. So this is a, yeah. this is a point of honour for us if we can but beat him today. Frederick really knows him. all my, my, my <laughs> yeah. tricks and my... Uh, yeah. See that poker face? Yeah, That's yeah, a poker yeah. face. <laughs> this is going, me and Adnan are just going to be playing with these two. Yeah, wow, yeah. It's going to be serious. There's going to be a point of tension just yeah, here. Yeah, we're going to step back. <laughs> yeah, you want to woo. So how does he work? Exactly the same principle as the characters. Stamina gems. Yeah. So... You activate different minions via this track here. Now, as you can see, those places are numbered 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, just to 8. Those indicate the amount of points you have to spend to activate that creature. Now, each tile controls either one or multiple creatures. There's also a special tile called an event tile on number 7, but we'll get to that in a minute. When you activate a creature, or when you want to activate a creature, rather, you choose which one you want to activate. You. You. So he's on the second spot. So he costs two to activate. So you move two from the available tier fatigue pile. There you go. Is you he... take up that tile. Slot it out. There we go. You move all and the other tiles down. No, okay. you don't throw it out. It's not in your a throwing pack. start. Ah, okay, okay. I'll put it ah. here. But no, you'll need it back if you want to reactivate them again. Okay. So, so this is a prototype too, huh? This is this not is the prototype, easy for me yes. because you are... It will be this design, but it's coming it's, multiple parts, it's so make, it's a bit sticky. It's made with love, but <laughs> no very dexterity. Yeah, no, yes, no, kind no, of, yeah. Okay. You have to manhandle it. <laughs> <Yeah. a bit. laughs> <laughs> okay, but I put here, I pay two. There, that's it. So he slides up to the top of the board. All the other enemies become cheaper. Except, except him, who's still at the bottom. And now nothing stops you from reactivating that tile in the same turn. It's just very expensive. Okay, yeah. So it, but it is a tactical option if you want to take it. You can activate two tiles per turn. Okay. Um, so once you've slowed the tile down the track, you then activate those minions. So that is the picked Pit warriors. warriors. So those yeah. are the grey picks with the hammer here. Yep. Okay. So as we can see on the card, they have two movement, three armor, so they're slightly tougher than normal picks, so you'd need four hits to kill them. They still only have one hit point. They have, is it orange dice, re-rollable? Yeah, I think it's red, no? Uh, no, sorry, it's a re-rollable red dice, sorry, yeah. when they attack, so that's very strong. And the special ability at the top of the card, um, the sort of sumo pose that you could see, yeah. that means they're what we call blockers. Now, blockers stop hero from moving, heroes, from, sorry, from moving out of a zone if they are in that zone with them. Okay. Um, in a time scenario like this, those pieces are very important because they can potentially slow down heroes for a turn or two if you play them well. So, <coughs> Pit Warrior is here, the great here, here. Pits, that's the one, and those I three move there. This one and this one and yep. after this one, when, yes, when I it. want. Exactly, they, have okay. two, they don't have to stay within a coherency or anything, they can be on each side of the board if you want them to be. It's up to you where you want to and put them. I make all the moves <coughs> and fight or I you move, make all the moves, fight, then move, you, you make all the moves, fight. then you fight. Okay. Just to keep things simple. Okay. Um, also, what's important to note is that they're not a, a squad, so to speak. You don't roll all the dice at once because each attack is independent. Oh, okay. Each okay. attack has to be defended against independently for the purposes of armor and dice and, and what have you. Hmm. Um, so, uh, once you, so do you want to move them? So you've got two movements. Oh, yeah. two for, movement. the, for the sake of ease, I've put Shravatus here. Yeah. One, so, two. So he's in. So okay. you've got the other ones. And um, one, two. Two, okay. and uh, one, two. Oh, there we go. And now I fight your faces. You can, but you do have another option. Now, yeah. the Overlord, apart from spending gems to activate his minions, can also spend additional gems to move additional zones. It's one gem per model. So if you want, you could pay one gem and move him into yeah. the same zone, I, I, okay. get another attack. I take this gem and I that's put it here. You put I have it three, in there. three uh, That's it. Okay. The other ones, we'll get I to that. Here? So that's it. <laughs> it's easy, these men run. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Easily pleased. Yeah. So you can move and one figure. Huh? That's it. So now you've got two attacks on me. One in face and That's one, the one in front. It's good, it's good position. I like this. <laughs> <laughs> we won't discuss that on TV. Yeah. Yeah. Now, so, um, <laughs> I have two dice, red. You do? There you go. One dice, one dice, one dice. One dice, exactly. Here. That's the one. I, I put in your face. That's you. We'll put the dice in my face. Oh, one. So you get one. So you get one hit on me. Now, you can re-roll that. Yeah, because I want to run. Is it just only yeah, one? Yeah, there's only one yeah. chance of I getting a miss oh, I on red dice. 
Can we roll? And you get That's zero. Oh, oh fair. Okay. Very nice. Well, you've got another attack. This is not a really, really uh, yeah, gaming. Well, it's uh, first, it's to try. Yeah. Yeah. But I pay. I pay you one. You can indeed. Here. That's the third ability he has. You can pay one gem like we can to reroll. Okay. So he's got one. Perfect. So, Shivatas has no armor, so he gets no passive defense bonuses. However, I can spend gems in defense in order to roll dice. So, you've got one hit, I'll spend one gem hup, in my defense to roll one orange dice, which I get nothing. So, face. therefore, I would take one wound in yeah. the wound box. Simple as <laughs> The beginning of the end. Yeah. So, you've got a second attack, yeah. which you can take as well. Okay. Ah, this, this is not a good, uh, good dice. This is a good dice. See if that one's better. Want to... No, I don't. No, I don't Actually, no, you, yeah, nearly yeah. Had me. you nearly had me giving you my luck, but no. Ah, right. I don't, I don't okay. So this time, I had to stop two. I don't really want to lose any more wounds, so I'm going to spend two dice. That gives me two orange gems. Uh, two orange dice, sorry. Oh, so I get two, guy. and that time, I take no damage. Mm -hmm. Simple as. <clears throat> now, that's your first tile used. Yeah, I pay for um, one. You okay. can do another one, mm -hmm. whatever you want. Then at the end of your turn, all the dice that you spend yeah. in there, they move down. Now, the second ability, we'll quickly touch on that. It's exactly the same as what I've just done for Juvatus. That is, for every dice you spend, sorry, every dice, every point you spend in it, when one of your creatures is attacked, you get to roll an orange dice in defense. Okay. Simple as. Sometimes you do want to roll orange dice for expensive creatures. For these, for example, the blockers, like I said, they're very important. You want to try and keep them alive. They're useful for the scenario. The, the other ones, the, the meat shield, of, as we call them affectionately, you may not really need to save them. Yeah. Depends. Also, uh, a very quick thing which I didn't get into, um, blockers stop you from moving totally if you're in the zone with them. Shivatas, it doesn't count because he ignores all the bonuses. However, if you're in a zone with multiple enemies, if you want to move out of that zone, you have to <clears throat> sorry, spend an additional gem or sorry, an additional movement point, rather, if you have the free movement available, an additional movement point for every enemy which is not being engaged by a friendly model. What do I mean by engaged? Well, if Shivatus is in this zone, he counts as engaging one of these models. If he moves out, neither of these are engaged. So if he wanted to go here, it would cost him one, two, three movement points. Okay. If he was here and, say, for example, where's Valeria? There she is. And she was here, he would engage this one, Valeria would engage this one. If he moved out, he would have to go one, two, but seeing as Valeria would be fighting this pick, okay. he's fine. Easy, very easy. Simple as. Simple as. <laughs> this is a new game. This is the, the, the word of the, the day. Simple as. Uh, uh, simple as. Simple as. There we go. Simple as. Very British term. <laughs> um, and there we go. I don't think. Well, then it would pass over to the hero's turn. So we would then declare whether we were inactive, active. We'd move a certain okay. amount of gems back. And so one thing we didn't mention, you, you are never active or inactive. Okay. The I, Overlord is yes. always active and always gets five stamina points back at the beginning of his turn. This, this is the, and that's the, it. This is one I, 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 <coughs> I, I, I love to play this because I make a, a lot of active guy. Exactly. An active guy. <laughs> <laughs> he's, a, he's a young go-getter. So when you play... I play and I move the... Yes, when yeah. your turn starts, you move that counter along one. We have eight turns to, to finish this scenario, sorry. Get the right number of fingers there. Um, now, the objectives, like I said, you're going to hide the, the princess in one of these huts. You've got with some this? counters there, that's it. So you choose one, we won't yeah. look. Okay. Choose whichever after, one you want. In the, yeah, in the, in the, afterwards, okay. yes. Yeah, um, you'd put the hero, the princess model on top. Yeah. And then when we walk into that hut, you say, oh, you found her. Um, and then she is then on the board. Okay. We have to pick her up. She's an object that has to be carried. Um, so she, she, you know, she weighs something, so it, that is useful when it comes to different abilities being in play or yeah. not. And also we have to kill the pick chieftain um, and take his head, which is also an object. Okay. Um, and those are the two scenarios. So one you can hide, the other one has to start there. But okay. there's a bluff, double bluff sort of mechanism. Do you put it with the chieftain, all your eggs in one basket, but we won't think you've done that. We put it with giant snake because who doesn't hide damsels in distress with giant gribbly monsters? Don't, don't tell who me knows? what uh, yeah, you I know, do I know. I've heard stories about how the, you hide the this. Game. So, yes. Okay, <coughs> I hope you understand the, what this guy said because I, I don't understand nothing. He's talking English. Well, Adnan should be fine. He said to he us... Might, he might not have, but he wrote the game, so yeah, he so should so be okay. He I said think. to us he's English, but uh, <coughs> we are no proof. You know this guy? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> a bit. You will be understood. A comical effect, but never mind. So right. I have. Uh, we have. We we are. Comment do you? Nous avons. We have. We have. We have. Um, the rules to play. Yeah, to play. This is um, one scenario. This is one scenario. 
uh, with uh, just three characters yep. and just one or two uh, yes, equipment. Yep. And just uh, on this map. Uh, just on this map. Yes. Map. yes. On, exactly. the, on the Kickstarter, mm -hmm. on, the Kickstarter on the game, oh, yeah. we have a lot of uh, yeah. figuring. Yep. No, no part is the same. I mean, that now he, uh, this game, Conan's got a giant axe. In another scenario, he's got a giant sword. Um, and this is just equipment. Sounds a bit stereotypical, but there you go. Um, and in one scenario, he's in prison, so he breaks out, and all he has at the beginning yeah. is some chains to attack people yeah. with. So it all switches up. We forgot this. Oh, we did. Sorry, we did talk about the event. Yeah. Oh, now. I, I am a professional. <coughs> uh, we I did, forget nothing. We did, but we didn't, because this yeah. actually ties quite in with each scenario. Now, the event tile is nothing solid. It, well, nothing uh, continuous. It changes from scenario to scenario. In this scenario, it allows you to respawn a certain amount of monsters. Okay. Each monster has a different respawn cost from one to two, normally. Others, bigger ones, can have three. Um, but generally, you can't respawn the big beasties. For example, in this scenario, you cannot respawn the snake okay. or the chieftain, because generally when he's dead, he doesn't have a head anymore. Okay. But all the other ones you can, that, that represents, okay. the, represents the, the hunters coming back. Okay. Uh, every uh, scenario have this event. Uh, uh, every scenario has an event time, an event. and it does something okay. different. There's a scenario in a, and, in a swamp village where it invokes a giant snake, loads of things. Okay. And when you come here, maybe I pay two. You pay two, and you slide you pay, it back up, and, okay. and you can use it again. Fucking okay, my English is very, very incredible. Nice. You understand doing what well, I said? Doing, well, doing well, doing well. Okay, thank you, Jimmy. My pleasure. Thank you, uh, thank, you. <laughs> thank you. Ah, I like uh, your accent. Uh, <laughs> it's very good. I like too. Yeah. I like too. You are, you are a French author? Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. You would never know. Thank you, Anand. You are welcome. Ah, okay. And now um, we go to, to play. Join us in the next video for the After game. After this uh, generic. Hmm? That's the one. Generic. Usually in French I said generic. Generic. Uh, for the, the, <laughs> the English one, I said uh, generic.